Welcome to another bonus edition of Upon Further Review. Upon Further Review. And in this edition, we'll be talking about the New York Jets at the Green Bay Packers. This week two matchup happens on September 14th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can catch that on your local CBS affiliates. So the Jets won against the Raiders, and the Packers lost against the Seahawks. That's what happened in week one. The Packers played the first game of the year there on Thursday night. It was a disappointing game for the Packers fans, but they're going to be back in Lambeau Field for this one. And Aaron Rodgers is going to be looking to have a better game as he was shut down by the Legion of Boom. He only had 189 passing yards in that game. But against the Jets, who do have a good defense, but they're not so good in the secondary. The pass rush, the running defense is good of New York, but their passing defense struggles. And Aaron Rodgers and the Packers have a really prolific passing attack. And I expect Rodgers to throw for over 300 yards and really light up those Jets defenders. Of course, Geno Smith was looking really good for New York in the week one. He actually had more passing yards than Aaron Rodgers in week one. as He had 221 passing yards against the Raiders. Of course, the Raiders are not the Seahawks. And he's going to have his hands full against the Packers defense. But of course, Chris Ivory was a real bright spot for the Jets with 102 yards off of just 10 carries. And they also have Chris Johnson who had 68 yards off of 13 carries. Chris Ivory had that big, huge touchdown run too. And now they're going against the Packers and they're missing B.J. Rashi. So their uh, run defense is a little bit susceptible. And that's what's going to keep the Jets in this game is if they can run the ball and have success run the ball. I mean, Geno Smith can do what he did against the Raiders. I mean, he was 23 for 28. If he can take care of the ball, then they're going to be in good shape. Of course, he did have that one interception, and he's got to take care of the ball better than that. He can't afford to turn the ball over against the Packers, especially when they're going to be looking to make scoring drives. Almost every time they have the ball, they're going to be scoring touchdowns and at least field goals. You won't see too many punts on the Packers' end. But then again, that New York defense, they could shut down Aaron Rodgers if they can get to him. But if they don't get to him quick and he's able to release the ball, and we know that Aaron Rodgers is really good at scrambling around. This guy is fleet of foot, and he's really good at avoiding a pass rush and turning a play that is dissolved into a big play and a big game and into a scoring play. That's actually when he's at his most dangerous is when the pocket breaks down, and now Aaron Rodgers on the run scrambles and throws the big pass to Jordy Nelson or one of his other targets as they have many capable players on that offense. The Packers in Lambeau Field are very tough to beat, and it's going to be tough for the Jets. They're just not going to have enough. The Packers should win this one. I'm thinking they're going to win by anywhere from six points, maybe as many as double digits. They could run up the score against the Jets. If they get up early and they get the Jets on their back, it's going to be tough for the Jets because they got to keep it close so they can run the ball and keep it a battle of field position. they got to keep the time of possession in their favor. Because I'll tell you what, though, the Packers don't need much time to score. Aaron Rodgers will score in like a minute, sometimes two, three minutes tops. I mean, he doesn't really put long drives together. He can put a long drive together, but the guy just throws, especially to his receivers. When it comes to throwing to receivers, Aaron Rodgers is the guy who actually throws the highest percentage of his passes to his receivers. He's always looking for those deep threats, those deep strikes to pick up big yards. That's what the Packers do. So I expect the Packers to win this game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you did enjoy this show.